This video is sponsored by Ultimate Guard. But even long before this channel was sponsored by Ultimate Guard, they were always my number one choice when it comes to sleeves or deck boxes. Pick up Ultimate Guard products at your local game store or order them on Amazon. Link down below. Welcome once again to Commander by Danan. Today's video is because I made a mistake the last time I made this commander. Apologies for that. I misread the commander. Today, I hope to rectify that. Also, I know it's annoying to keep hearing this, but statistically, if I don't ask you to like and subscribe, the video gets fewer subscribers. Bane, Lord of Darkness, is a 4-mana 5-2 legendary god who has indestructible so long as our life total is equal to or less than half our starting life total. Additionally, whenever another non-token creature we control dies, target opponent may have us draw a card. If they don't, we may put a creature card with equal or lesser toughness from our hand onto the battlefield. So, Bane is card advantage in the command zone. The two things all commander decks want to do is ramp and draw cards. So when you have a commander that does one of those for you, you're in luck. Now, as I'm sure you saw from the video title, this will be an Aristocrats deck. Aristocrat decks require three moving parts. Sacrifice outlets, creatures to sacrifice, and payoffs for sacrificing those creatures. Normally, when I build an aristocrat stack, I like to have token generators. It's much easier to create 10 creature tokens than it is to cast 10 different creatures. But Bane only triggers on non-token creatures. So to help with that, we'll want to run a bunch of graveyard recursion so we can sacrifice creatures over and over again. But that's not all we'll need. In order to build a functional commander deck, you'll need lots of different pieces, which is why I try to rely on my handy-dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp. 10 pieces of card advantage. 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal. 2 to 3 board wipes. 2 pieces of graveyard hate. And 1 sudden I win card. Oh, one more quick announcement before we get started. I'm going to be streaming on Musings by Danon as well as Twitch. It'll mostly be Final Fantasy XIV, but you're more than welcome to pop in and talk about Commander. Honestly, about half my streams are talking about manga, anime, or Commander. For lands, we're running Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Flooded Strand, Polluted Delta, Marsh Flats, Arid Mesa, Scalding Tarn, Verdant Catacombs, Rafine's Tower, Hallowed Fountain, Watery Grave, Godless Shrine, Sea of Clouds, Morphic Pool, Vault of Champions, Deserted Beach, Shipwreck Marsh, Shattered Sanctum, Glacial Fortress, Drowned Catacomb, Isolated Chapel, Meticulous Archive, Undercity Sewers, Shadowy Backstreet, Bajuka Bog, Three Plains, Four Swamps, and Four Islands. Pretty straightforward. For Mana Ramp, we're running Solemn Simulacrum, Pitiless Plunderer, Warren Soul Trader, Burnished Heart, Life Insurance, Smothering Tithe, Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Talisman of Progress, Talisman of Dominance, Talisman of Hierarchy, Azorius Signet, Demir Signet, and Orzhov Signet. Lots of on theme spells as well as mana rocks. Our card advantage package consists of Grim Hara Specs, Mull Drifter, Karmic Guide, Midnight Reaper, Athreos, God of Passage, Sun Titan, Laisa, Forgotten Archangel, Luminous Brood Moth, Baleful Strix, Wall of Omens, Null Drifter, Satoru the Infiltrator, and Ristic Study. Like I said, we want a lot of graveyard recursion in this deck. 
Our interaction consists of a Cursed Marauder, Plague Crafter, Shriek Maw, Ruthless Lawbringer, Fleshbag Marauder, Cathar Commando, Ashiok Dream Render, Void Rend, Swords to Plowshares, Generous Gift, Anguished Unmaking, Counterspell, and Dovin's Veto. A good mix of counterspells and spot removal. For board wipes, we've got Cyclonic Rift, The Meat Hook Massacre, and Dam. Flexible and powerful. For sacrifice outlets, we're running Bartolome del Presidio, Woe Strider, Carrion Feeder, and Yogmoth Thrawn Physician. For payoffs, we've got Tesa Karloff, Drivnod Carnage Dominus, Zulaport Cutthroat, Cruel Celebrant, Ellis Ilcor Sadistic Pilgrim, Blood Artist, Marionette Apprentice, Sir Conrad the Grim, Vein Ripper, and Bastion of Remembrance. Finally, supporting our plan, we've got Chasm Skulker, Gixian Puppeteer, Reassembling Skeleton, Junji the Midnight Sky, Glasspool Mimic, and Spark Double. Now that we have our deck list, we can compare it to our checklist. 51 mana sources split between 36 lands, 14 pieces of ramp, and 1 MDFC. Not too shabby. 14 pieces of card advantage, counting our commander. 13 pieces of interaction. 3 board wipes. 3 pieces of graveyard hate in Laisa Forgotten Archangel, Ashiok Dream Render, and Bajuka Bog. 1 Sudden Eye Wind card in Cyclonic Rift. Of course, Cyclonic Rift is one of the most powerful spells in Commander, but our deck isn't designed to reset the board and kill our opponents. This is a mid-range deck designed to cast a ton of creatures, cheat creatures into play, and cast them over and over again for value. The point of this deck is to wear down your opponents over time. Death triggers, enter triggers, or triggers when other creatures die all add up to an engine capable of taking over the game. A card like Wall of Omens isn't very powerful on its own, but when we cast it over and over and over again, drawing us more cards every time it enters, or allowing us to cheat creatures into play with Bane when it dies is just awesome. Do you have a Bane Lord of Darkness deck? What's your secret deck tech? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to Meta to Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Dayton. You can have a video made or just ask for help building or tuning a deck list. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Dariya, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Brett, Roxy, Mark, Borgie, Nazwin, Midge, Alex, Conga, Aaron, Chris, Robert, Austin, William, Pye, Turner, Triz, Kazara, Slack, Dan, and Booksu, Patrick, and Vox. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Damon.